All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Tajikats Shrine inside of Tears of the Kingdom. This one's called Building with Logs. So everything in here that you're going to be using is some sort of utility that you can get out of a log. Like you can use it for a ladder or with the next section of the puzzle, you can use it as a ladder that likes to bob up and down the whole kind of idea here is to give you some notion as to what different things one could use a large volume of logs for because well there's lots of trees in this game some of them want to kill you so you might as well use them as different types of tools although trying to control logs when you stick them straight down into the water is like a buoyant sort of ladder it can be a little bit hinky so if you do like i do and use time to kind of control it a little bit, I definitely wouldn't think twice about it. In fact, I think the time travel power is one of the most useful powers in the entire game. So you're just gonna to wanna to use that to climb up top here, glide down, and then you can either use these logs to make a, a little ladder or a bridge of sorts that you can use to cross this water. But if you don't wanna do that, my preference usually is what I'm about to do, which is to just Take the logs, push them over there, bring them back, and use them as a gentle time-traveling platform. Which tends to be the best way to do 90% of these in pretty much any one of these shrines. If you can give yourself a gentle platform to walk over there, why wouldn't you? I'm literally going to do the exact same thing to this one as well. I'm going to create like almost kind of what looks like a skillet with a handle so that I can just push it across the gap really easily and then walk across. So it gives you kind of an idea of all the different things you can do, but they've given you enough logs here where you could conceivably make yourself a bridge very easily. One that was not rolling back and forth so that you can just walk across. But I, I just prefer using the time travel powers whenever possible. You just push that over there and then bring it all the way back and then go ahead and stand on top of it so that you can use your time travel powers to push you across the gap. Now, if you're wondering where the bonus chest is, it's right here next to the exit. You're going to have to make yourself a motorized vehicle, in this case, a fan-arized vehicle, where you just make yourself a little pontoon boat out of the available logs, and then you're going to want to go off to the left-hand side, because that's where the bonus chest is, in order to grab that before pushing yourself all the way to the exit, which is just across this little pond. You'll want to be careful, though, after you've created your little raft and gone after the bonus chest, because the water is moving, so it will push your raft back to the beginning if you're not careful. It's not moving super fast, so conceivably if you had enough stamina, you could probably just swim over there with relative ease. But the whole idea here is, you've got logs, you've got fans, why not make the world's, like, worst pontoon boat ever, hop aboard, and then give it a stab. So here, like I was mentioning before, off to the left, is the bonus chest that you're going to want. I forget what's in it. It it wasn't terribly crazy, but like some of these have nice weapons in them, so it pays to actually like check on them. I don't want my boat to escape, so we're just going to go over here and awkwardly clunk it on top of the very same chest that I want to open, which thankfully is magic, so it opens regardless. And inside is a spiky shield, so that one's not terribly great. It's just a shield with some rosebush brambles on top of it, but it, you can swap people with it when you when you parry. They won't like it, but you can do it. Then we'll just reposition our raft so we can kind of get over here back to the middle, where we will then be able to get our reward, the blessing of light, the thing that we've come here for. So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been the Tajikot's Shrine. I think that's how that's pronounced. If not, um, I... Feel free to correct me in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.